gonna start first. Okay, so basically my argument for Beerus over I mean <laughs> my argument for Broly over Jaren is just that um Broly basically just scales above him due to recency statements, right? Um well I'll wait till you do your premise next. But basically, yeah, Broly has statements that support that he's the strongest and he scales to people greater than those that Jiren does within his time. And he also has recency on his side. So that's my premise. Okay, so my premise is I believe Jiren uh, skills above because I think he's fighting stronger versions of the characters and that uh, the statements for Broly are, a little, are contradicted uh, for other statements and other material uh, given. Uh, so that's my premise, yeah. Okay, so um, what part, you want me just to go ahead and explain or you want something specific you want me to talk about? Within those two premises. Um, you could talk about his statements, yeah. yeah. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna send all of them. But basically, Broly has a lot of statements for being uh the mightiest warrior and etc. You know, not just like the strongest opponent, right? Since I'm pretty sure you would know the counter argument against that if you wanted to go in that direction. But Broly mm -hmm. has just statements generally. I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send them one at a time so they don't fucking freeze up on me. Yeah, like the, the box cover saying he's strong. Other shit saying he's strong. Uh, this is like the full thing. This is everything I get. Um, this one. Actually, yeah, these would be basically, I think, everything that I'm going to have for my points. Let me make sure. Oh my God, one more thing, too. That I'm going to use. Where the fuck is it? Uh, I'm looking for the... Wait, is this explained? Give me one second. Make sure I'm looking at this correctly. Uh, send this to this guy. It's going to look weird, but I promise you it's all going to connect to something. Mm -hmm. And then this one. Okay. And then a the translation of it. All right. So here we have like a bunch of statements where I'm going to go with this specifically is the statement that questions if he's above the gods of destruction, right? Um, obviously, Herms would have like the proper translation for this scan. So what I'm going to argue for this is that basically the gods of destruction that he is comparing against has been plot powered up, right? So that he can look more impressive. And what's substantiating this is that Broly has a lot of statements of being the strongest warrior, the you know greatest fighter, etc. So the narrative is that Broly has to be the strongest nigga that we've ever seen up to this point. And then they're saying, well, is he possibly stronger than God Destruction? Which would have to imply that the God's Destruction are at a level still enough to be compared to, right? Like, you you still want to reach them. They're, um, if I was to say it in a better way, they're still at this tier that the verse wishes to make impressive to actually, like, go to. So they would have to have either boosted the God's Destruction up or Jiren's statements are not true, right? And it's more so just that he's stronger than one God for this to work. So that would be the two way, two interpretations I give. And then the fusion thing, just to explain that, it's just, I was going to argue, uh, that argument is leading into why I believe the likes of, like, Gogeta would be greater than MUI, and why that would mean Broly has to be, like, stronger mm -hmm. than Jiren and such. But we don't got to speak on that yet. Mm -hmm. on the top stuff. Okay, so, um, yeah, I can talk about the statement real quick. So, uh, I think, okay, so first, I'm more, I'm under the impression, right? That the statements are more so to like hype Broly up for like the movie and stuff because within the actual movie itself, um, he doesn't really have any feats that uh, support the fact that he's uh, strong in Jiren. and like his and there are a few uh, contradicting statements like um, saying he's probably strong in Beerus. If his whole goal is that he's the strongest like um, warrior in general, right? Uh, that would tech in like um, how do, how do I say this right? That would, um, which statement is I'm referring to? Actually, one second. Um, hmm. yeah, uh, so yeah, um, uh, for example, like the statement, like it says he's the strongest in history, uh, that would technically, um, lead him to be like stronger than Whis and like. Um, and like the other angels and stuff. So like I'm thinking like uh, the uh, the statements are more so like the hype of the movie and not really um, a representation of his actual power because within the movie it's not really showed any like that he's close to Whis at all and that he's just barely above Beerus. Um, so yeah, that, that's my first one. 
Okay, um, for like the Weiss and the Angel points, I would say when they say like, because with this same line of logic, you know, like they, um, I think it's something for Jeremy. They say he's the strongest in history, right? But we wouldn't assume that means Weiss and shit. Let me see if I can find it. Um, well, actually, he says he's the strongest foe. So like, uh, we was Weiss was never you know like a foe for the Saiyans or Goku, so he wouldn't be included in that statement actually. Mm, okay, I understand you going. I know the Saiyans. So about. in this case, right, my argument would just be that. Uh, Within the verse, Whis is never considered as someone of like a marker, especially for the anime, of like power, because we never seen Whis's full power to make that gauge. It would be more logical to say it's referring to the actual like fighters, especially when we have another statement referring to him as a warrior. So we know like Broly is considered a warrior slash fighter. He's considered the strongest. So it would be more aligned to say that any statements that can maybe be interpreted as them saying like a general range of Grand Priest, he's greater than that nigga, and that nigga, and that nigga. Would it make sense since they're putting him in this tier of fighter and warrior, whereas Whis, the Grand Priest, and the Angels are not that. They're, um, what would be the word? Attendants or like advisors. They're like the people at the fucking desk that type shit down, you know? They're not fighters. They're not in the same vein where Broly and Jiren would be at, which would be, you know, like I'm saying. Okay, I, I see your perspective on that. My, my reasoning more so like that is trying to hype up is that it kind of questions itself. Like it says, oh, uh, it, does he have destructive power? Um, they also say, like, oh, destructive power greater than God of destruction, like in a question mark, like acting as if that's impressive, right? Even though if he is like the strongest, right, he would just definitively be above um, all of them. They wouldn't like, um, like for Jan's promotion material, for example, like um, this scan, I'll just uh, preside it real quick. Got you. Um, just to like speak on that though, you don't believe all that would mean is that they're putting the God's destruction on a higher tier. Like for example, it's not even out of the um like realm of possibility anime does this. They have a character have this established power level within like super that we like perceive them to have, and then they're doing shit way above that. Like Krillin, for example, not about to bring up the fighting Goku, but him being able to scale to 18 is illogical. That doesn't make any sense. 18 has always been consistently able to smack him. But then the tournament of power, he's able to beat up Majora, and 18 got laid the fuck out by Majora. So the anime, it's not even like the anime wouldn't like put someone at a level where maybe statements and such maybe would contradict just to put him there. It would just be a red. Well, actually, um, to get into that Krillin example real quick, I actually do believe Krillin, which has shown relativeness, uh, to, uh, Andrew 17, uh, not Andrew 17, Andrew 18, uh, to, due to his like uh, feet in the tournament of power where Android 18 was taking this attack from this one random dude, and like she just fell down like completely while yeah, that's Krillin. Majora. That's the reference I made. That's Majora. Oh. Yeah, oh, what I'm oh. saying is that doesn't make sense because in Z there's no like there's no line of establishment that he's even at 18's level like at all. Well, he got strong. Yeah, he would just get stronger. Yeah, so okay, so that's going into my point. If Krillin, for the sake of just plot, can reach levels that don't logically make sense, or a better example would just be 17. He went from being below Cell. So from fighting poachers, just niggas in the fucking forest, reaching level Super Saiyan Blue God level. So it's not even like they can't just be like, okay, yeah, maybe maybe if I agreed, right, that Jiren has surpassed all the gods, which I do have contention with, but let's say hypothetically. All the mean is, is that they put the God Destructions on a level above that. They, they, they threw them back up. The plot just went, okay, yeah, we need these niggas stronger to hype up Broly. We want to make Broly look more intimidating. My interpretation would just be that they put him at a higher level to do that. And okay. I, I, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. So, um, my issue with that is that um, if we're going with, if you're gonna uh, claim that um, Kuroin's power boost was due to plot, um, my only issue with that is that we know that um, Kuroin did train, right? And we know that when Kuroin trains within the actual series, he does um, get a lot stronger. Like he, in just one arc, like um, like the what would be an example of this? Uh, are you, are you talking like, about, like, within Z, like, um, where he trained yeah, with King Z, Kai, yeah. like, a boost greater than what Goku got? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I and know stuff like, you know... Because we know, like, in the filler, um... No, I think they do mention his power level Z. Never mind that. It wouldn't matter. So what about, like, the example with 17, right? Okay, for 17, right... It's one... Some arguing, like, I, I logic, do believe... like, logically does it make sense, right? Even if you're like, okay, well, Krillin just got stronger. I'm arguing, like, logically to the audience, to anyone who even power scales a little bit, it doesn't make a lot of sense for 17 to be that strong, realistically, because he jumped. It's a jump of power for, for absolutely no reason other than they needed him to be in the TOP, and if they had him that week, he couldn't do anything. It'd be like, it's, um, what's the word for it? They call it like power cliffing, I think, something like that, where they just, they throw characters' power up for the sake of just keeping the plot 
um, consistent. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. You know what I mean? You couldn't have 17 I mean, here if he's weaker than the likes of Boo. Because 17 is like... Frieza, really 17 should not be that strong. Frieza kind of did the similar thing with his four months of training. Yeah, like, but they um, explain like Frieza's, right? I believe Frieza's more believable. They state like Frieza's never trained in his life. So it's not even like out of uh, out of logic to say, okay, well, when Frieza actually trains, he reaches this astounding power level boost. Like, it's not even crazy to say that. Like, I can believe Frieza's actual jumping power. I could not believe 17 getting that strong, though. Because it doesn't, like, he's too, like, it's, it is so far back for him to only be saying, I fought poachers. I guess um, my uh, you know I mean? reasoning for, like, yeah, yeah, I do understand what you mean. Like, him fighting poachers, uh, well, hmm, actually, you know what? I'm saying, like, logic yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll stand on that. I'll agree with that point. That yeah. they, they can make their character stronger. That, that's fine. Um, however, I don't know if they made them stronger in this instance. Because for them to get stronger, right, that would imply that they have trained or um, whatever got stronger somehow. But, like, mm -hmm. it's not really shown for Beerus or any other god destruction that, that has occurred. So I don't, I don't, I would like um, any potential reasoning of why that would happen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would go into, like, my second thing. I only believe that Jiren has surpassed the likes of, like, Belmont within the anime line of events. Okay, I think he's uh, stronger than all the gods, and I can, I'll get into that. Oh. I got you, bro. Um, so it is stated by Whis that there's a rumor that a, a mortal from Universe 11, it, well, well, he doesn't say it like that, but like a mortal from this universe is stronger than his own guard destruction, and he says that uh, this um, this guard destruction is stronger than Pierce. Um, and then we're going on that basis that Jaren is stronger than um, his own guard destruction. He'll be stronger than Pierce as well. Okay. Uh, unquantifiably, yes, but yeah, he would still be stronger. I got you. Are you aware, like, within the anime, after Whis makes that statement, Beerus literally, like, shuts it down and says it's nothing? I'm gonna send it. I think I got this saved. Yeah, I'm aware of that. My yeah. I, my issue with that is that I treat more, like, Whis's statements more credible than Beerus, due to the fact that we know Beerus kind of does it in a way, like, like he doesn't want to them all know him because, like, he's embarrassed or whatever. Oh, like and we know Whis has no reason to lie, so... Well, um, okay, I see I'll give an example of this. You remember, like, angels are generally dickheads, they're gods. Vados is a great example of this, where despite it being statements within the anime that Beerus and Champa are very equal, Vados makes this statement of ambiguity where she's like, uh, Goku's like, who's stronger between the two? And she's like, look at their bodies. And I'll, now, most people would assume, okay, Beerus has to be stronger based off that. But if you think about it on the flip side, if Champa is more well fed, he's bigger, why wouldn't Champa be a stronger one out of the two? You know? Well, I don't agree with that necessarily because I don't think a fat person is necessarily stronger than like. A healthy person, I would say. Well, like, yeah. you, Beerus, like, ribs is showing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Beerus has, like, ribs. You know, I don't yeah, think he's, 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 he's kind of, he's decently built. He, like, I would, I I would say at bare minimum, he's skinny lean. But I don't think being, like, your ribs being out is a sign of health. Like, Beerus definitely isn't, he isn't, like, he's skinny lean. Like, he's like a, a skinny-ass cat with just some muscle on him. It's, it, it's kind of like this one thing, right? Like, um... If we really do want to base it off that, then you could say, like, because he's skinnier, he could be faster. But, like, that's not really the case. So that's why I'm not really thinking that their bodies um, necessarily matter too much, you know? Yeah, but what I'm just saying is Vados made this cheeky statement that could be interpreted in more than one way. Just the fact that we can even argue on it. Um, I wish I could find a thing where, like, they... I mean, I'm more so understands that, you know, Beerus and, like, uh, Chompa are equals still. Yeah, it's like every time they do fight. I'm just saying by bottles, like angels aren't always reliable and they can be dickheads. And even in the scene, Whis is more so saying it, not in a serious way where we can take it as such. He's being jokey with it. He's saying like, there's even a God stronger than Beerus. And then Beerus is like, oh, fuck you, dog. Like, it, it's like he's picking with him. He's teasing him because Whis doesn't explain the full context of what he means by this guy is stronger. And then Beerus is like, yeah, in arm wrestling. But he's like, it meant nothing. So we know Beerus is conf like he's giving more of an actual clarification. So for Goku and Vegeta to understand, and he's like, yeah, it means nothing. But Whis wasn't going to do that originally. Whis was just going to say he's stronger, but we don't know from what. So then he was going to have this ambiguity with his statement, and he's being cheeky to Beerus. It makes his overall credibility less reliable in that instance. Because we can even take when Whis yeah. is talking to Goku and Vegeta about stuff. He's very calm, collected. He's not so like he's not trying to be funny. He's being like, yeah, if you master MUI, you would be able to do this, or you know, learn UI, you would be at this level. But Beerus, he's not well, doing that. So the statement's I iffy to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. To respond to that real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, to the whole, um, oh, if you achieve master, he wasn't actually that serious. Like, um, well, if we're going with the anime, right? Like, 
uh, there's a little joke like where he he's he's not thinking right as he's like moving and he like steps in poop or whatever and like joke around with that. So it's like it, he wasn't like super serious when like talking to him really, you know. So, and then like okay, in that instance, that's a good example. But I would say him stepping in poop doesn't mean his what he's saying wasn't being like serious to the situation. I believe like a comedy moment doesn't just deflate a comment always. But more so, the tone of voice Weiss was giving off in that moment wasn't to be comedic. He was legitimately saying, yeah, if you learn this, if you're saying learning, you would be at a different level, for real, for real. And he wasn't, he wasn't wrong with that. He was legit saying, if you do this, you will be at a different level from most niggas. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't being funny. Him stepping in poop doesn't take away from that. But with Beerus, he's literally trying to be funny. And I would say my interpretation would be he's trying to hype up Belmont to make Goku and Vegeta be more serious. Because if they think Jiren is this strong, they will push themselves harder. They would actually take it, you know, not like some joke. So he doesn't need to tell the exact truth. Since we know Whis and Beerus don't mind lying to hype up Goku and Vegeta. Monaka's a great example. I don't even, um, I don't recall exactly if Whis even told Whoa. the truth about that. He was willing to uh, count right with Beerus. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. To uh, respond to that real quick, yeah. So I, I think, like, um, since, you know, so since you were like on um, preparing, like oh we're about to face the universe, he was like saying like oh by the way guys, you know there is this uh, mortal who's stronger than his own god destruction. Like he's informing them, like you know trying to give them information that would be kind of important to know. So like I think um in that case, right, it would be uh, taken seriously and saying like oh he's stronger than even Beerus. So like um, prepare yourselves, like you know type of thing, right? Like the you know like how like a briefing. Before you yeah, go I out understand what football you mean, but player. I would say, like, when Beerus mentions, okay, there's a mortal out there stronger than their god destruction, there's no comedic, there's no nothing in there. He's just straight out saying it. Then when it switches to talking about Belmont and Beerus, his tone changes. He's more joking with it, and then it just flat out gets dismissed. Like, Beerus is like, yeah, that didn't mean jack shit to me. Like, it means nothing. I think the reason the why Beerus dismisses it, though... I, I wouldn't say Beerus is in the show shows, like, egotistical nature, where he's like, I don't want to admit that he wants weak, like, stronger than me. Because he admits Whis is greater than him. So it, it wouldn't make sense that he only has his. Well, that's a given. Because, you said what? I, I said that's a given because, like, I mean, he he doesn't feel to compete with Whis at all, really. Like, you know, he's his angel. You think, and stuff. Well, I, like, why would he feel the need to compete like with the gods of destruction with any anime live events? Well, Beerus, right? Um, like whenever, like, uh, for example, like when they were at dinner, right? And he's and then Champa said, like, oh, we should get fighters or whatever. And then he, and he, Beerus thought he was talking about them fighting. He starts laughing, right? Like being kind of arrogant, thinking like he mm -hmm. can easily take on his brother. So like, yeah, but I think he would be in that, right? I would say like being cheeky and a bit like I gotta prove I'm better than you. It's a part of what comes with the brother roles in fiction. Brothers compete. Brothers have like that little back and forth. But Belmont and Beerus aren't shown to have any connection. They we just know they aren't wrestled. They they aren't shown to have yeah. that relationship to where Beerus feels the need to assert himself over him. Whereas Beerus and Chopper um, have just that, that actually. There is another example with like with Quintella and like the anime where like they both kind of insult each other. Like, no, it's clear that Beerus has some type of grudge or like, you know, he's not very liking of the Quintella, right? Mm -hmm. And then like the Quintella is like talking about like, oh, my universe is gonna win or whatever. And then Beerus is like, ignore this guy, you know, type of thing. Yeah, like basically but I just like, him, like, Quintella is starting yeah, my universe will whoop your ass. Ain't the same as saying I would whoop your ass. So I feel like, yeah, Beerus can be, you know, like a, a protective parent, right? With his universe saying, yeah, Goku's gonna fuck you guys up. You know what I mean? Like, fuck y'all universe. Rather than saying, I can fuck you up or vice versa. I'd say like the context is different, you know? And even like with their arm wrestling match, there's a lot to assume. We don't know if they were doing it with key or whether they were just doing it like flat out base to base, you know, normal power. I mean, not normal power, but like just normal. You know, no extra shit. We don't know how exactly how it goes, how it went. So we can only assume, mm -hmm. okay, maybe Whis is saying they went full power, key, maximum, etc. Or an interpretation could be said, Beerus just lost a normal, no power boost arm wrestling match. He could just be generally Whoa. weaker, like physically without key. But we know key can amplify I your strength past your norm. Yeah, yeah. My issue with that is that, like, typically, right, when you're doing arm wrestling match, you are actively going all out and pushing the other person down and so like if you're if you're like to like beat someone in an arm wrestle match you have to have like relative or greater power than them like I, I can like never beat someone who's stronger than me in an arm wrestle match you know what i'm saying no so i'm not saying beerus wasn't trying to win right i'm just saying how the exact event went doesn't have to require a key for him to be 
going maximum. It could have been a situation where they're like, okay, let's, you know, base to base, you know, no, no key involved. Let's arm wrestle. Who's stronger than who? Like, we don't know. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah, saying more so that he couldn't have taken it in some vein, like, okay, yeah, I'm trying to win. But it doesn't have to imply that he was using his actual, like, key to amp himself to win the fight. We don't know. We have no clue on that. And I would, I feel okay. like that would be something that's very important because we see, like, Goku and Z. Without key, he's very, he's a lot weaker than with key. So it could be the case of, yeah, Beerus could be weaker generally and, like, no key amp whatsoever. Belmont could be stronger because, obviously, Beerus has fucking ribs poking out. I don't think he's the strongest just general strength anyway without key but with key he could definitely be above the likes which is why i say he asserts it didn't matter that that interpretation fits why beerus would even say that and then we have examples of him not being egotist like there's no examples of him being lying about his own strength within the anime version he's very much honest about it otherwise he wouldn't even tell goku he's his greater family. well like, he did lie that um monaka monaka was like yeah, yeah but that goes into my other thing right remember when i brought up Goku, I mean, Beerus and Whis will lie to benefit Goku, to help him go further. But in this situation, him, like, say if he was lying, him saying, I'm still stronger, wouldn't do anything for making Goku take Jiren more seriously. He would have, like, it would have to be a moment of Beerus being like, yeah, that, that is Cap, don't believe that one, Goku. But the nigga is strong, like, he, you know, he's stronger than Belmont, but Belmont ain't greater than me. So, it, like, it's different. With Monaka, he's trying to help Goku and push him for the, um, for the little, what was it, like the pre-tournament they were having? I don't know if they just called it a tournament, but the tournament they were having, you know, it was for a purpose. It wasn't for his own ego that he wanted to do that because Monaka has pointy fucking nipples. Like, he doesn't look cool saying that. So, you know, I would say Beerus doesn't exhibit a Vegeta-like type of persona where Vegeta will lie, and we know Vegeta's lying because he would get fucked up. Or Vegeta shows this consistency in being overly prideful in himself. But Beerus doesn't. Beerus is kind of chill with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Let me think uh, what I'll respond to that. I would... Um, I, I would just say, like, right, you could, like, um, like, the, in the context of way the wish is saying it, I feel like he's more, like, um, making fun of Beerus in the fact that he is weaker than a God of Destruction. Not necessarily that, oh, he's making fun of him, but he's not, um, he, he, but Beerus is not, like, um, stronger than him. So, right, I think in that sense, it would work if we're going with the fact that, oh, he's teasing him so he's not um, fully serious. He could be teasing him because that he's weaker. And then Beerus is like, um, don't go say that, right? Because um, it's like, uh, it, like, if you go to his face, right, he looks very much, um, um, he looks, he's really like, shut up, stop talking about himself. it. And we was to go yeah, he's like, and then he himself. said, yeah, 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 and then he says, like, st st don't say that, and, like, and don't say that because he doesn't want them to know that he's actually under someone type of thing, and I think uh, this would work because, right, like, um, it, it, like, he, he, we know Spears is full power, like, logically, right? And yeah, it, it makes more sense that the angels know how strong the other gods of destruction is because, he, because like, you know, we see Vardos make uh, a statement about how strong Beerus is c compared to Champa. So I think it makes more sense that all the angels know how strong each of their other god destructions are. Yeah, right? like so that. I think b based on that, it, it makes more more uh, sense because, like, indirectly, why would we randomly bring this up? Like, you know, well, we it, know it like in the moment sense they were talking about um the, the fighters, right? And they was like speak I don't remember exactly how I got to Jeremy, but they was talking about this mortal that was stronger than God destruction. And then he's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's true, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, so I, what I mean is like why would he randomly bring up the fact that this person is stronger if he's not stronger? Well, it's just a fuck with Beerus, because I gave an example of angels just being dickheads to their gods. Like Chomp like Vados is a dickhead to Champa. For, for honestly, no reason whatsoever. Like, angels are just, like, sassy fucktard sometimes. They just do that. Oh, if we want to be, um, uh, technical, right? Like, that one universe from, what's his name? Like, I think it's Universe 9? Or is it? No, it's Universe 10, I think. I think yeah. Universe 10, um, are, are their angel actually seems to, like, you know, be very sad when, like, their, their god destruction and, like, um, their fighters and the whole universe was gone, like, but the other angel, Universe 10, was actually like, smiling when... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Honestly, like, um, so I'm saying, like, that. it wouldn't necessarily apply to Whis completely, you know what I'm saying? Okay, mm. I get what you're saying. You're saying, like, it's not just, like, this general angel. I would say majority, if we have, like, two angels at best, Vados and the angel that was smiling when his fucking god got killed. 
then it's more to say that angels are kind of dickheads, especially Whis, who has been a dickhead to Beerus. Um, I don't know if this is the anime where he like fucking draws a symbol on his head and shit. Uh, I, don't know, I, don't I mean, I don't. I generally don't remember that. Yeah, it's cool. But... I won't. I won't use the thing because I don't fucking remember what episode I was on. I made me think of like fucking Xenoverse because I'm stupid. But, like, Maybe we is, is like generally kind of like sassy towards Beerus is basically my point. Like they have like a back and forth. They have like a what would it be like a f- a nice little banter going on between them. It's not just we sucking them off. Like we can have a little sassy mouth when it comes to Beerus. And I was like, this is one of those examples. And then when we look at the way that Beerus looks within the scene. Beerus is like there's no sweat marks, right? That indicates embarrassment or um nervousness. Because you know in anime they usually have like a little sweat mark if someone's a little nervous or anxious or whatever. Beerus is completely straight faced when he makes this comment. Mm-hmm. There's I would say if we're going off the way he looks when saying it, he's very much serious. He's not being funny. This isn't him being embarrassed. He's not flush, nothing. He's like, yeah, that's that means jack shit. And he goes back to sipping on his drink. So I don't believe like the preponderance of evidence, in my opinion, would lead more to Beerus saying Weiss is capping out of his ass, at least towards the Belmont part. And then it would go into, okay, well, in the arm wrestling match, did he use key or not? Like, we don't know. There's a lot to assume there, whereas Beerus flat out lets us know, okay, he's kind of, he's bullshitting. He's fucking around. He's being funny. You know, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, um, I'm going to explain why I think it's um more in the line that he's uh, embarrassed and not, uh, or, or not, maybe not fully embarrassed, but like, he doesn't want the other to think that he's weak. Um, hold on, I'll get the other scan real quick. Got you. Um, so right here, right? If we um look it around, like everyone's actually just after we make this statement, everyone's looking at beers. They're all like surprised, and like his eyes are closed. They're not even looking at them. His head is down. It's like it's in, it's it's giving the implication, right? That um. Now, the statement, um, like, it holds some form of validity, right, um, that Beerus is actually weaker than Belmont, and then he says, um, don't say that, because he obviously notices that everyone is, like, um, they're all having doubts about it, about him in some extent, right, and then I think that, that would be, like, uh, the supporting reason that we statement is, is, is correct, because he does bring it up later on, in the tournament power, right? And like, and then like, um, what you call it? Uh, yeah, yeah. He just brings it up later on. So, so the fact that they call up on the statement again, it gives me um the impression, right? That it, it's a statement that's meant to be taken as that's far as that moment. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Man. Are you talking about like the Belmont moment? I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just asking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Belmont moment where Jim's like going against the spirit bond type of thing. Yeah, in that moment, he doesn't mention anything like about Beerus and Belmont's relative. He's just talking about like Jiren specifically, right? He said mm-hmm. like, um, that rumor about the mortal seems to be true, right? Like it seems to be the case. But like, even if we look at this scene, I would say we have moments, I think I can show a moment where Beerus shows embarrassment and nervousness. But in this moment, he's just straight faced. Like, even if you, um, if you find like me not showing an example, uh, if you recall, there is moments in Dragon Ball where characters show that they're nervous, anxious, or bullshitting, and it's always the little sweat drop and the way they're acting. They're acting really nervous and moving around and shit. But Beer's just flat out like sipping on his juice. He's like, yo, that's that's cap. He goes back to sipping on the juice. I would say if the scene was meant for Beer's to show embarrassment, it would be more presented physically rather than like maybe if you're trying to say the atmosphere gives off that. I would say like we would actually see Beer's show this level of embarrassment if it was any way true or even like close to being true, but he's very like straight. He drinks the juice, says it's not true, goes back to drinking the juice. Whereas he's not I mean, something like, similar to like um the turn of um universe six or Yeah, where like Weiss is like, Oh, you see that? You see what Goku's doing? And Goku like Beerus is sweating, like he's nervous. You know, you can tell like um if any in, in that scene specifically, Beerus is some something, you know, something is obviously going up, you know. It's, it's, okay, yeah, I so to counter that, right? Um, so since it's like established that uh, Whis and like um, not Whis, uh, Beerus and Belmont do like you know, know each other and like have like whatever a, a, a arm wrestle match, right? He um, Beerus could be like aware that Belmont is stronger, right? And since he's already aware of it, he's um he's not like oh I'm sweating, I'm surprised that this guy's actually above me due to Whis's damage. He's more like um uh, since he already knows. He's more like deflecting it. Like he's trying to like pretend it's not even happening. And that's why he says, like, don't say that, right? Uh th- that that's how I'm interpreting it, really. No, I don't I think it necessarily that. has I, to be physical. Um 
because uh, yeah, I just don't think it has to be, given like how everyone else reacts and how Beerus reacts and what we know about the context. Yeah, the only um, reason about their... that like it has to, well, not even has to, but your point would be more substantiated if it was physically presented because we have showings that Beerus can be embarrassed and such. Let's say that we go with what you're saying and he already knew, so he isn't really embarrassed about it. I would say it doesn't help you because if he was embarrassed, like if everyone's looking at him, Goku and Vegeta and shit, and he cares about their opinions and such, and this is a scene where he's deflecting out of some way of protecting his own ego and pride, he would still show some sign of embarrassment. Like, then it wouldn't really make any... The way the scene's presented, it doesn't come off like more of deflection. He's just clearing up the situation. He's adding clarification, you know? Because everyone's looking, you're like, is that true? You know, they're giving him that look, and he's like, nah, that, that was just an arm wrestling match. Because Weiss wasn't giving that. Weiss was just saying stronger. We don't know what, the, like, we didn't have any clue what they were talking about. You know, Beerus asked his clarification. Um, if he was more so embarrassed at the fact that Belmont is actually strongly trying to flick, I feel like the scene would go more comedic with Beerus's reaction. But it just doesn't give off that tone there. But we know Dragon Ball think... Super would do that if that was the case. Because we have examples. I'm sorry, yeah. You could finish. My fault. No, no, no. I was going to say something, but I didn't realize you were continuing to talk. You, you can finish, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no. That was, I'm done after that. You good. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so... Uh, well, I was gonna say, like, um, I think this scene is more so, like, supposed to be, like, um, a little bit more on the serious side, right? Because I don't think, uh, th th they're trying to make a joke out of, like, a god destruction being an above another one, really, in, like, uh, this case, right? Because this is, like, you know, for the whole universe, right? If there is a mortal stronger than his and he's stronger than Beerus, then, like, we are in trouble, right? And then I think, uh, that's why... It's not turned into a joke because this is supposed to be like a genuine moment uh for the series like for like is conveying jiren's strength because um i'm pretty sure right after this they just show jiren like meditating or like something like that i think that's I think what so. um I think so. that's why there's no comedic element given i think yeah, yeah, so, go yeah. Ahead. um so we basically gave that i think if we keep going it'd be like circles lost we got a new point but um since my premise was just Beerus got stronger, it doesn't really matter regardless of what side this would go to. Uh, I would just say, like, within the Broly movie, they just amped him. Like, the plot just a lot, like, just made him stronger for the sake of it. Or, more so, uh, Jiren's statement, uh, if I was to go with the interpretation, that is, you know, Belmont and Beerus aren't relative in any way. Uh, it's more consistently focused on him being stronger than just Belmont. And I, I can present that, too. I got, like, a bunch of Herm stuff. Give me one second. Oh, okay, cool. Sure, yeah, friend. Um, like, uh, this clarification. But, yeah, uh, after you send that, I'll just, you know, make my argument, but, yeah. I got you. Uh, I hate when I, like, I don't know why I do scan my phone, but I don't save these bitches. I can't do it on my laptop. I wouldn't be able to. I am not that. Yeah, I, I have them in, like, a, an album, so, like, it's easier to get to. That's low-key. That's smart. That's actually smart. I put, yeah, my phone, I put them, like, in different um, folders and shit to look for it, but sometimes, I don't know, I don't be saving them or something. I'm like, the fuck is wrong with me, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, yeah, I recommend it. Yeah, uh, let me show this to, there's more. Wait, these two would be, like, my first examples. So, uh, the second thing I'm saying, these are, like, both by Herms. Herms basically explains that within Japan, there's a lack of, like, true plurals, so it's very ambiguous what they mean. So it's better to go, like, what's, uh, What's more so the case, which is like one singular god rather than the general, um, everyone in that tier. And then in one of the card scans, it's uh, also stated that it's not saying surpass. It's more so to match or to reach. Surpass would be a different kanji there. So it would be more so that he's at this level, right, with his specific god. Like he's um he's like at this level or above it. He's there. And I will say this fits because if he's only at Belmont's level, he's above Belmont, he wouldn't be above him. He would be in this general uh, tier with the gods of destruction, but that doesn't mean he beats everyone in said tier, if that makes sense. Like, uh, you can have a tier of planet destroyers, uh, and there could be someone greater within that tier. Or not even that, no bad example. Throw that shit away. There could be a tier of fighters. You could be better than one person in that tier, but there could be people in that tier above you still, and they could fuck you up. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that was a bad yeah. example. So with that, we have, um. we, we have to basically look at what's given within the source, since we know that Viz basically is fucking up on how they're explaining it, since... You know, it's not any um, objective fact that it's saying multi more than one gods. We have to, like, prove from the source. And I would say from the source, we have more consistency of that. It's referring to Belmont. Because when Weiss brings it up again, he's like, um, he doesn't even say Jiren is above them um, with certainty. He just says, yeah, he's definitely above Belmont. Or he's definitely, like, stronger than this nigga. But it doesn't say the gods as a whole. Only I can find that, too. 
um, you know. Yeah, yeah. So um, my only issue with the first skin, right, that the reason why it wouldn't be matched because it would be like contradicted through the um, through which his damage is straight up saying that he's stronger. So, like you can't be a match and still weaker if you're supposed if the main source material is like saying he's above. So I think I'm like um, that, yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's that, sort of. Um... I don't know if like you heard me. Okay. So I wasn't saying this is referring to Belmont in that scan, right? I'm saying you're referring to oh, in, the, okay. in the tier, right? He matches the tier, but he's not above everyone in that tier. You get what I'm saying? Like he's in that he's in that um area with them. So if it was you think like super okay, Saiyan, dude, oh, okay, now I understand what you're saying. Yeah, okay, so I'm, so I'm, I'm saying that for that it would just be saying he's in this tier due to being above Belmont, but he's not above everyone in said tier, which is why they would say he would be like at this level with them. But it doesn't mean that he can beat everyone in said tier just because he's um above one person in it. Because obviously, from what's given, we know that God's destruction aren't all the same in power. They come at different levels. So being above one doesn't tell you being above all of them. And then be, uh, Weiss later talks about it again. We know it has to be referring to like Belmont specifically and not everyone. Um, I think the one second. Let me says, just uh, perhaps get a scan real quick. Though. But yeah, I wouldn't say perhaps means anything since like we don't know what that goes to later on. Like we can't quantify what perhaps is. I mean, Weiss makes the statement. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's from outside. No, you good, bro. Um, one second. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so this scan is um specifically from V Jump. Yeah, I remember. And it that. says like um. Okay, so yeah, it just straight up says that. His power, um, while likely exercising his power, it exceeds the gods of destruction and over overwhelms Goku. Okay, um, uh, so we already like went over the fact that when they say gods of destruction, it's very ambiguous. But um, to add more to that, I know where that comes from. And in that same like uh, V jump thing, they fuck up and say Beerus says something that isn't true. Wait, let me send it. Let me see. Oh, I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the full thing unless I'm fucking retarded. Do -do -do, do -do 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 here yeah i know the full thing it's supposed to be like he um beers thinks he might have got stronger than yeah, him so or something like um, that right the thing is meant to like be a preview right that's what like he's saying he's saying like oh in the, um episode 129 beerus makes this type of statement but he never makes the statement within episode 129 and um one of the translators can actually like flat out says yeah this just isn't true like it's a flat out waste of time so within the guide they are flat out just lying within the same guide that jaren is in so that's why i'm saying like viz like you even said prior, uh, they just make mistakes. They fuck up. They don't. They don't have the objective truth to what actually is the case or what the actual source material wants to present. They just say, sometimes they say shit. Like in this case. So like if this is false, now we have to question the legitimacy of Jiren's statement. And if we know Jiren's statement has ambiguity around it, where it's you know not no actual true plurals. They're not. There's no actual true assertion of if it's all of them or just one of them. I say we stick with the source material, which says Belmont. Belmont is the name. Um, undoubtedly. I'm pretty, sure this was, well, I'm pretty sure this was like uh, translated by Hermes. One second. Wait. Uh, one second. Here we go. I see. I sent that in the wrong part. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> that was the good part. I didn't want to just leave that alone. Oh, okay. Um, Bears never said this in actual love. So the magazine is wrong. This other part is talking about something else. It's um just saying that the actual like statement, if it was true, is only referring to MUI and not Omen. But the bottom part, what I just sent, is what went what would I just sent previously. So my fault on that. I fucking mixed up the two. Okay. Um Okay, so the, uh, I'll ask you this question real quick. So, the yellow text on top, that's the one that said he might have surpassed Beerus. Like, which text real quick? I want to translate it right. So, yellow is the Beerus line. That's the Beerus line. And then red is the entire, like, the preview for episode 129. Okay, yeah, I'll translate it real quick. I'll just say your, your thing. Got you.
Uh, there we go. Uh, no, I'm trying to right now. Okay, for some reason when I'm translating it, it's like, it's, it's giving weird text, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just the way, like, oh, it's shown. It's weird. I know. Sometimes when I try to push it through a translator and it's vertical, it, it shows, like, weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just kind of drop that. Well, I guess my next point would be, like, um, uh, what, 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 what was it about to say? I was going to say that, uh, this game is supposed to be, like, uh, saying, like, uh, I'm pretty sure, wait, it might have submission. It, it, was it Beard Sphinx or was it Beard Says? I, I don't want to double check that. Um, let me reread what he says. It says, yeah, Beard Says. So it says Beard Says. Yeah, so it's Beard Says. Okay. And this is like, um, it's sure. referring to the moment where Goku goes MUI against Jiren in their final battle. Okay, okay. Um, I guess my uh, issue with that would be that uh, th this game, uh, the this, this statement for like, for like um uh goku right not goku uh, this game for like like um how do i say this um the scan for jaren is what you're talking about yeah the scan for jaren i like uh the scan for jaren would be like um making a direct statement like of his power like um, overwhelming Goku at the very, like, on, on episode 128, because that doesn't actually occur, like, um, yeah, I think it's in reference to episode 128, yeah. Yeah, so, like, with that, right, uh, for, to give it, like, an example of what I'm about to say, if you have a doctor, and the doctor gives you wrong information, right, he tells you something, and you realize a part of information is wrong, you're now no longer gonna trust the doctor's entirety of what he said. You're gonna be like, okay, if that's wrong, what the fuck else is wrong here right like this isn't cool like this isn't trustworthy anymore so like if one part of the scan is just flat out mistranslated like it's wrong it's flat out not the truth right either we say the translation is wrong for what people are saying it says or it's just the guide is flat out lying about what it's saying and if it's lying that's worse because if they're lying on one part there's no reason for them not to be lying on the jiren part also you know you get what i'm saying like if they're a liar, you're not you're gonna you're not gonna assume they're gonna be telling the truth on this part either. You'd be like, okay, they lied on this part. They're most deaf. Like I have no reason to trust this anymore. It's tainted. You know they fucking ruined it because they lied. So why would they be telling the truth with the Jiren statement? You know they they no longer have that validity of trustworthiness. Mm, okay, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, okay, so that being the case, then uh, I guess I'll just. Drop that scan then. Um, but I'll, I'll still argue for like the side that uh, Jaren would like um, above the gods of destruction due to him like being above like uh, like uh, Jaren. I'm not Jaren. Jaren being above like Belmod and like Belmod being above Beerus and, and Champa. So like I'm thinking like he's above multiple gods of destruction. So and then since the other gods of destruction have no feats or anything to imply that they're anywhere close to there um anywhere close to that level right i still think it's more correct and for, uh to say that jaren's above all of them yeah. okay so like um, i already gave like my contention like the jaren and belmont stuff so i won't like re-speak on that but um it was oh, all right, right, yeah. is in a early movie we have like recency right um to give an example of what i'm about to say if in dragon ball they said this is the strongest opponent in history we wouldn't assume they're talking about z and super right like we wouldn't assume that you know the issues with me saying that 
You wouldn't assume that it's talking about Z. Yeah, no. like if they say like yeah, or even within Z, if during the freeze. Actually, I do think it is actually because in the actual movie, they they show you like Goku's time, like throughout the ages, right when he was a kid to uh, all the past. Like so, I think it is referring to that too as well. No, I'm just saying within like Dragon. I'm just giving like um, it's not based off of what may have been said in Super. I'm just saying an example. Like if in Z, they make a comment that uh, Boo was the strongest in history. Right, but in Super, we have Jiren being stated to be like greater than the likes of like Boo and shit. The statement would have been outdated. That's what I'm saying. Like statements can become outdated, basically. Yeah, sure, they can be outdated. Um, yeah, so I would say like if Broly is, um, if narratively Dragon Ball Super is about having stronger, stronger foes. Well, like actually, I didn't want to comment on that real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Like for Boo one statement, right? He's the strongest in history. He would be the strongest in history at that point in time. Until someone else becomes stronger, yeah, that's what I mean. That's so, what I mean, like, it become outdated, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. so like, yeah, I want to change like, for Broly is we have like multiple statements of him being the Midas foe, greatest work, etc., 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 right? And then we have the gods now being put at this level where they're still like it's questionably if Broly's even above them. All that would mean is we have recency, which will have updated statements on the positions of power now, and the gods' destruction would have just elevated due to this fact. It would like Jiren's uh, one second. Became I need to get my chart real quick. I got you good. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just need to plug in real quick. Got you. Yeah, my, I just realized my fuel was about to die. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay, so basically what I'm just saying is that Broly would have updated uh, statuses on the positions of power that the God Destructions would be at, and then his statements would have updated him as above Jiren, and then Jiren's statements would have now became outdated. And then the narrative also supports the fact that Goku was meant to fight stronger and stronger foes. Because after Beerus fights, he's like, yeah, you want to get stronger because there's guys greater than me out there, and et cetera, right? Saying all that shit. And that goes consistent with who Goku fights. Goku fights opponents that are always greater than the last, unless it's like some random fighter as nigga. But the main big bads is what I'm referring to. Beerus, Frieza, Goku Black, etc. You know, these opponents exhibit greater levels of power than what has been presented previously. So to stay consistent with that, Broly would also have to be above the likes of Jiren. Otherwise, he would be an outlier. Yeah, um, yeah, I just agree with that. Uh, real quick, yeah, so we can talk about that whole like each film needs to be stronger than the last. Uh, that's not completely true. I uh, do do to well, villain and attacking that's correct, just to clarify. Yeah, like villain and like or, the big bad, not even a big bad, but just the, um, the main focus of who's going to be the adversary to Goku within our art. Yeah, so uh, to briefly talk about that, right, we do know that hit is um. Hit, Hit was stronger than, like, uh, what should we call it? Super Saiyan, uh, Zamasu and Golden Block, uh, Goku Block, uh, for a little while. Are and you mean, then, like, like T.O.P.? Uh, no, no, Hit from the Universe 6 Saga was stronger than, uh, Goku Block and Zamasu. I'm saying. Uh, you mean before, like, they became fused and such, or, like, even Goku Black got... Yeah, yeah, before they became fused, yeah, yeah. Because Goku Black, like, you know, like, he grew in power, right? Like, um, where we see him in the beginning isn't where he's at in the end. I would argue that Goku Black... My like, reasoning... Uh, my my reasoning why he would still be weaker is uh, due to the fact that Goku uses Kaioken times 10. And then we know, like, oh, he's able to take attacks from Kaioken times 10. And then Goku uses Kaioken against Merz and Masu. And, like, not even times 10 is able to, like, kick him around and damage him off, right? And, like, Goku Black obviously doesn't scale to Mercy Monster, so that's why I'm saying, like, it would okay, scale so above Goku Black. you wouldn't believe Goku, Goku could have just got it stronger in that, like, um, uh, the way I would explain it is, you can be stronger in just your general, and then he can add the Kyle Ken, and it would just excel above what he presented previously. I could you can say he got stronger, I just don't think we could really say how much at all. Yeah, but, or, like, like a gauge know, or... um, Goku would have to have gotten, like, decently greater than previously. Right, because he had already fought and overcame. Like, if you count like the anime, like if you count the fillers as part of the anime canon, and when he fights hit again, it depends on like how you feel about that. Uh, you know, however you want to go uh, with that line of logic. 
Uh, and the fools that say hit got stronger too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know, we know Goku and Hit would be excelling in strength, and then he fights Goku Black, and Goku Black's able to fight him. Or even then, let's say I, I probably don't even need to argue this part. I would just say that Goku Black and Zamasu would be the same equivalent, like imperfect cell turning into perfect cell. They were villains that became obviously uh, stronger as the series progressed until they became definitely, you know, they reached this pinnacle of power, right? So when I say like uh, every big bad needs to be stronger than last, uh, to be more specific and clarify, it, they can become, right? They can grow to this level of power in their arc. Okay. Yeah, just one issue with that, right? With the perfect cell example, imperfect cell was stronger than Frieza though. Like, imperfect like, alone, he was already just to like add on imperfect. What shows he was stronger than Frieza? He couldn't even like fight. Seven. Um, because um, it stated that he was a rival for like um, so Andrew Seventeen, and Andrew Seventeen was like bullying. Like, yeah, that was well, Andrew Seventeen. Imperfect Cell had like drunk up people. I'm saying like when he first appeared, he was like getting smacked by Piccolo. When we uh, no, 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 no. Well. Wait, let me, let me wait. Yeah, he, he did exhort a few people. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he yeah. shows up yeah. originally, and we know Seventeen. Could, like the reason why um even the way Imperfect Cell came in, he snuck seventeen. Like his goal was to catch them both when they were fighting, and then that was after Imperfect Cell had drunk up niggas. So it still works. All it means is a villain um doesn't have to come into the gate stronger. What I'm saying is just within their arc, they either can be they become the strongest, right? They grow past the past adversities uh, that we've previously seen, or they can just come into the gate stronger. Like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like either interpretation works fine for me, or either way you want to think about it. I'm saying just okay. that the um, villain, like by the end of their arc, is not weaker than the previous one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I understand what you're saying. So, yeah, like, Imperfect yeah. Cell could be weaker than a previous villain, and then he grew to the point where he's above that villain within his arc, and then he kept growing to where he's above everyone in that arc. Uh, in terms of antagonists, like 17, 18, 16, etc. You know, and Goku Black and um, Zamasu would be falling into that same line. They come in, they're not like the de facto strongest. You know, but they're decently strong, and then they grow to this point where they're definitely the strongest thing is, uh, compared to the rest of uh, previous adversaries that go for a I, I guess my only issue is that, like, in all those examples, right, they do have the the feats to support it, but, while, but Broly doesn't, really. Yeah, I would say, like, we would go off more so of the guys, right? We have to, like, go off what we have and not what we don't. Yeah, I would just say, like, the god just could be contradicted, though, right? Yeah, why does so? Why feeds. can't the guide say something, especially for the purpose of what the guys are meant to do? They're meant to tell us how strong Broly is going to be, right? Where we should put him in our heads when it comes to the comparison of other villains. So they would have to be letting us know uh, Broly is this strong, you know what I mean? So we could come in there and be like, "Oh shit, I can't," you know, wait to see this nigga. I don't believe they have to present the feats to go with it if we have like this, um, this higher authority asserting, "Yeah, he's this strong. This is where we're putting him," and we have like other statements mm -hmm. saying that also. I don't believe like we need yeah, yeah, to, I, to back I, that up always. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would agree with you if um if the movie itself right uh didn't like also like provide some random statements like about uh him probably being above Beerus, like showing how like Goku can't even like um yeah Goku, I would like, say because, like, in Goku that regard, anime Goku doesn't know Beerus's full power, so like I wouldn't even say that statement matters. Uh, actually, I think he does due to the fact that when um. Champa and like Goku, not Champa. Uh, Champa, Champa and Beerus are fighting during that baseball episode. They all, they're com both of them are completely bleeding. They were both angry at each other. They were both beating each other up, and then and they make this whole, the whole place becomes darkness, right? Like implying that they continue, they would, it would completely destroy the universe. Yeah, can you prove that's right? like anime so, canon and not just like filler? Um, the baseball yeah, episode. Well, yeah. Um. Because anime uh, canon, canon would be, like, different filler. Anime canon would be, like, canon to the actual anime line of events, right? Whereas, like, filler would just be, like, a nonsensical shit that has no real placement. For example, like, the aerial episode. Well, like, well, that's just filler. They, well, they do, um, Papa, like, like, um, mentions how he sees Vegeta again. So, like, it's like, yeah, there's so continuity filler, with it. Filler can have, like, continuity, but it still, like, would be filler. If you get what I'm saying. Like, um, what would be an example of this? Within Dragon Ball Z, right? In the filler ep, we know that the niggas, the villains... And hell could see Goku fighting, right? And it makes sense. They would re they could see him. Because we know within the filler, we know Perfect Cell has a physical body. So it's not even like crazy. The continuity could work. It's not fucking up anything. But within Super, they mentioned Majin Buu and, and Freeze like who do like Goku fought Majin Buu. So it filler doesn't filler can have like this um canonical placement with quotation marks there, but it doesn't mean it's um it's it's canon to the actual what, what's occurring within the anime, right? It doesn't mean it actually is a part of that. Okay, so 
Uh, I guess I would just ask you, do you believe that this episode is filler? Uh, I would say there's nothing to assert the fact that it's canon. So it would just only fall in line with being filler unless evidence was provided otherwise. I have no reason. Okay, so what would you take as evidence as it being canon and all just axiom? Um it's I, you literally I think you could like look up the episodes and they determine which one is canon and filler. They talk about it. So you can uh, Dragon Ball there... Super baseball episode and then it lets you know if it's anime canon or filler. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if it yeah, I'd like to do that real quick, yeah. Because I was, um, I would just be using that as a gauge that how oh he would know like um what Beerus's level is at or type of thing you know yeah but yeah I'll look um yeah I'll look it up all Okay, so yeah, it does look as filler, yeah. So with that, I would say like in the anime, it's like no, he's not trustworthy in that regard, right? But we would trust like these higher authorities making comments of Broly's power because the point is is to let us know. That would be like the point of the guides. Otherwise, they wouldn't tell us anything. It would have to be a certain like, is, is, Broly's this strong. Uh, so here's the thing, right? To make it like kind of logically fit, if he's trying to compare his power to like Beerus's power, like. The only power of Beerus that he knows of is, like, when he's fighting him as a Super Saiyan God, and that's obviously way under Broly. So, like, it, it only makes sense that we're referring to that, or, like, it's the only way that makes sense, the whole okay, statement. so, say if we want to go in that direction, I would say what's more logically sound is that Goku's imagining how strong Beerus could possibly be in his head. He's visioning it, he's like, okay, what do I know? And then Beerus logically wasn't going full power, so he's thinking, like, okay, hi, like, in my head, you could possibly be above Beerus based off how strong Broly has presented himself. But Goku's... Uh, Goku I think that might be it, a bit of a stretch. You like, don't think Goku could be just imagining, right, how strong Beerus could possibly be at full power and then comparing Broly to that? I don't think that's out of pocket. I don't think we see him do that, though, with anyone else when he's comparing their power. Well, that's because... Like, Goku, for example, for, like, the Boro versus Self, for example, right? Uh -huh. He, um... He directly just says, oh, the Boros is level. He doesn't, like, imagine, like, oh, he could be stronger than this. And well, he didn't you know, even like, know the world was stronger than that. the same as, like, sensing God key. It's like, uh, I don't know if the anime even determined if Goku can sense Beerus' full power at all. Due to um, um, him having God key. So that's why I'm saying, like, okay, in the situation with the Boros, yeah, he could sense him. Because we know normal key can be sensed easily. But we know God key is quite difficult to sense fully, like... You can't act well, like... Well, actually, he is able to sense it up. Because, like, he's able to sense when Vegeta kills Super Saiyan Blue. Like, when even when he's not looking at him or, and stuff. Yeah, but we know, like, Vegeta and Goku's level of um overall, like, God key in terms of, like, control is different. And we know their issue is that they... they uh, yeah, you can already control, key. but, like, he should be able to sense it still, right? No, wait, like, you remember, though, see. when they're training their key? And Lisa's like, yeah, you're expelling your key too much, right? That That's your issue. You're, like, you're putting too much out there. So they have and to they fix that. Key. Well, yeah, not really, not at that point. I don't recall them fixing it yet. Yeah, they said, like, um, I'm not feeling anything from them. Curlin and, like, uh, Gohan said that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I was still, like, going to line that Goku wouldn't know Beerus' has full power anyway. So it's not crazy to say he would be just assuming how strong Beerus could be in his head and comparing Broly to that. Like, I don't know, like, why that would be a lot, especially, like, for the sake of the movie. If we are going with that, then, like, um... Right, like it, 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 it creates it, it creates its weird because, thing. Okay, right? let's like, just let's um let's just like add more to it. Right, one more thing. We know he couldn't mm -hmm. be saying Beerus is um at seventy percent. I think in the anime that's the number they gave him. Like almost, it wouldn't matter. Uh, it's like anime. Uh, he say he was using ten percent against Vegeta, but that's it. it yeah, all uh, I don't recall if they give like a bigger number than that. But suppressed state of Beerus, right? He couldn't be the Broly. Him couldn't be on this level comparable. It has to be Goku envisioning um a hundred percent. Because Goku's like, yeah, we can't fight this nigga uh, without fusing. Like, the only means that Goku feels confident fighting Broly, despite having, like, SS Blue and being way above the Super Saiyan God levels that he's shown in that Battle of Gods event, 
it, it has to be Goku's imagining this hypothetical 100% Beerus and making this comparison. Especially since he's not saying this to fight. Like, he's not saying, oh, yeah, bro, you're going to fight Beerus, right? He's just saying, like, in his head, if I, you know, uh, if I was to interpret, he's saying, okay, if I was to think of it in my head, you're probably as strong as Beerus. You know, if we ever see his 100% power, who knows? Based on what I know, though, you're probably as strong as him. You know what I mean? Like, I can, he can make, like, that imaginary gauge. But the point is, is I don't feel like Goku's statement matters at all because it's subjective. He wouldn't know objectively. So it doesn't matter. Like, it wouldn't debunk anything about Broly because Broly still has these countless statements of being mightiest and strongest and et cetera, you know, by higher authorities than Goku, who would only be based off what he would know within the verse itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, I understand what you're saying, right? So uh, that's where I'm saying, like, um, right, like, even if it is from, like, a higher authority, right, I, I feel like we always should, like, uh, it really comes down to this. Do you take uh, main source material over guides, or, like, what's your stance on that? Um. Okay, for me, not even trying to be funny or anything, it depends. If uh, I personally feel like the guys are saying something extremely contradictory, and I can't, I can't formulate a way of making it logically make sense to me, then I would go with the source, right? If it's some, like, if it's just too iffy for me, if I can't make any line of reasoning for it. But um, if the guides, to me, make sense and I can logically make it sound in my head, I go with the guides. And the source would be something that backs it up where I would say the guides are giving information that the source just isn't at the time, right? Because the point of what the guides are doing is to tell us how strong Broly is. So that's what his job is to do. Whereas, like, the movie, mm-hmm. it's not so much saying, it's not so much, it doesn't have to tell us exactly where does Broly gauge. It, that's not the job of the movie exactly. You know what I mean? The movie is more so to tell the story of the Saiyans, uh, let us see Broly, etc. They don't, their job isn't primarily to say Broly's this strong and this is where we're putting him um, with certainty. You know, the guides would be that. That's what we go to the guides for in this occasion. So that's how I would look at it. And that would be my answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that being the case, then I guess I'll just concede. Yeah. All right, GG, homie. That was fun. Yeah. That was, um, yeah, that was a good debate. Like, 